This is the Kosie Jiri Local Council Development Area, Ikorodu, located along Agwawa Shagamu Road. Agbawa Ikosi is an ancient town in Ikorodu. It lies 35 kilometers north of Eper Division. On the south, it extends to the sea from Lagos to Ikorodu and serves as a refuge for people from Imota, Ibefon, Ota, and Uru. Agbawa Ikosi is home to one of the state housing schemes, and this road leads to the Lagos Homes Project, which is about 10 minutes' drive. Community Senior Academy Ayode Lonosa is also on this road. Shortly after the school is Odonosa Ayode Lonosa scheme. It's 660 units of 70 blocks with four dwelling types. One bedroom has 192 units of 8 blocks. Two bedroom is 252 units of 21 blocks. Three bedroom carries the highest figure, 216 units of 41 blocks. And some workers are on ground putting finishing touches on the project. <coughs> The State Commissioner for Housing and his team are here to inspect the project. The team moves around to see the quality of work done by the contractors. They are still going to open up one or two places. Maybe it's too long for maintenance. Soon they'll be blocked. They will not be able to. If I tell them what they're going to do, I will do it. Thank you. Identify where the drone was. So we really wasn't the drone. Okay. We're trying to identify the drainage route. For the commissioner, this initiative is part of the state government's effort in providing affordable housing for first time owners and will be delivered in the next one month. If you remember that we have a policy called rent to home, and uh, the idea that we need to open up the interland. It's also very, very paramount in uh, some old administration uh, policy. That's why Mr. Governor has made it, this place a priority. And then um, we'll continue with our rent to home program. Rent to home program. This place will be subsidized. You can, you have gone around. You can see what we are doing here. We are. This place is particularly targeting first-time homeowners. And then uh, the governor has magnanimously approved that we subsidize this that it will it will go it will, it will it will cover as many people as possible who are low income earners and um, talking about date of delivery you can see that we are far gone we the only major challenge here that we are facing that we are trying to resolve you can see us go around is the issue of uh, energ energizing this place in terms of infrastructure, you can see that we have gone far. The sewage system is also being looked into. We have some challenges, and then we are trying to solve that problem. Apart from that, we should be uh, good to go within the next uh, one month. He also explains the idea behind the Housing Development Trust Fund in Lagos. We want to build houses in thousands. While we are talking to various international partners across the world to see how we can deliver homes at a very low rate, we are also looking at how to get mortgages below 10%, as well as people who want to access fund, to be able to access fund below 10%. Presently, it's about 22%, and that is not really good. In terms, when you call, uh, in, in, in terms of uh, home del uh, shelter delivery, we are looking at it holistically to see that we can continue to provide uh, 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 build more homes for people. We are we are uh, what we are doing is to uh, when you call, uh, about that is that we are looking at a situation that government can have a seed fund. Why we also encourage uh, 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 people to, uh, to contribute into that seed fund. 
that we, by the time the government put its own seed fund and we look at sheep fund all over, it will naturally take the cost of uh, home unit below 10%. So that's what we are working on and it's before the Ministry of Justice. They are looking at it before we take it to ESCO for approval. And the Permanent Secretary for the Ministry of Housing says Ikorodu has about four different schemes in a serene environment and security is assured for the owners. And we have Lagos homes in Igbogbo. We are about commissioning one in Ibeshi. This one is uh, Agbawa Ikosi, you know, uh, local government development area, or the other side specifically. So we are built commissioning this one any time from now. And even apart from that, we have some other projects around the world too that we are even plan is at the, on the drain board now. So these are the low income and Lagos homes development that we are planning to do. Uh, you see, this is a gated estate. And actually, it's not that of the, because I said that this Odonosa Yodelu is a small town, we can call it. But there is security, I say it's a gated, the security apparatus will be there to sustain the security aspect of the, even the town itself. Once this place is populated, there is nothing that we can fear about concerning security because there will be security on ground. So, and God is our everybody's security too. We have water supply is there, it's basically the electricity. We have sewage treatment because there is no, we uh, don't use the safety tank and so we any longer, it's central sewage system. There will be child care center and also there are some other facilities that wish uh, when the estate is fully developed, every resident will enjoy as because there are some other lands that wish are flexible for further development in terms of infrastructure. From here we'll proceed to another scheme, also in Odono Sanyodelu. It's a resettlement scheme in Agboa with 144 units. Two bedroom here has four blocks with 48 units and one bedroom has 92 units of four blocks. Other complementary infrastructure includes street lights, car parks, water storage tanks, veranda, among others. The facility will be handed over to the Ministry of Special Duties when completed. In a JV with Echo Stone and the Ministry of Housing. Thank you very much. So far, 10 housing estates have been commissioned under the administration of Governor Babaji De Sonwolu and working hard to deliver other ongoing schemes across the states.